Doors are something really easy to implement, but can help make players feel immersed in the environment. So in this video, I will show you how you can implement doors into your Godot first person game. All right, to create a door system, you first need to create door prefabs. So I have a door with a model and then four handles on it, an open door front, peak door front, open door rear, and peak door rear. And all these are areas with just a simple box collider. And then I move the handles to the negative Z axis so everything is over here instead of over there and this makes it easier to set up your angles later on in the editor and then I do another one except the interaction points are on the positive Z axis and once again this makes it easier to set up angles in the editor once we get around to it all right and then to actually allow the player to interact with these handles you need to create a use cast on your camera set it to enable collide with areas and I have it casting to the forward relative to the direction of the camera and in my case it's just negative two this allows the player to not have to be standing directly on top of the door to use it but doesn't prevent them from using the door across the map and then I have a script on my camera it's the process function it's a built-in Godot function and then I say if input dot is action pressed use and this use is in the project settings input map and I just have it bound it to F you could have it bound to E or G or whatever you would like just depends on the game you use I like F it's universal and then I check if the use cast is colliding so it gets this ray cast and checks if it's colliding and then I create a variable collider and then I just set to use cast dot get collider probably not the best practice to create a variable every frame but it works and it doesn't really impact performance that much so we set this collider to use cast .get collider, and then we check if the collider dot is in group and door interact and if it is then we just say collider dot use all right to get that working you need to go to your interaction points on your door and assign them to the group of door interact a uh, capitalization doesn't matter just as long as your interaction script is using the same capitalization as the group and then you want to create a script on your door interaction points it needs to have a signal i call it door action and it just needs an action type and then i have an enum door action types it's open and peak and then i export door action types and uh, the variable is called door action type and it's just set to door action types dot open by default so without this parentheses we would get an integer input box so this isn't exactly the most efficient so to get the actual drop down you need parentheses and then the enum name and then the function use we just call the emit signal and then door action and then we pass in door action types this use function is the same use function that the uh interaction script is calling all right then we create a script on our door we need a few enums i have one called door states then another called open directions this door states will check if the door is either closed peaked or open so if it's closed we just don't do anything if it's peaked we want to have it slightly open and if it's fully open then we want to set it like fully open like saying it fully open is essentially the same as opening a door in real life peaking is kind of just turning the handle and pushing on it a little bit open directions this will control which direction the door will rotate depending on the handle used so if the uh open door front handle is used then the door will swing in this direction if the open door rear handle is used then the door will swing in this direction and that's really useful it makes uh, navigating maps a lot easier because in games like ground branch doors only open in one direction and it, it means the player can get stuck in some areas uh unless they close the door behind them and then i have a variable called door state and just set to door states dot closed and then another variable called open direction and just set to open directions dot closed these variables are not uh accessible by the inspector so it doesn't matter if we export them with the enum name or not and then i have what looks like five export variables i have a peak angle front open angle front peak angle back open angle back and the start angle the start angle is the default rotation of the door in this case it's zero degrees on the y-axis and then in the process function we need to match the door state if it's closed we say rotation degrees dot y is equal to lerp and we want to lerp the rotation degrees dot y and then we want to lerp it to the start angle and then this delta times three is how fast it will go delta times three is kind of good for realistic movement but you can make it faster or slower depending on the needs of your game and then we need to check if the door state is peak 
peak and if the open direction is open direction to start front then we want to warp the rotation degrees to the peak angle front and then once again i'm using delta times three if it's an open direction to stop back then we want to warp the rotation degrees dot y to peak angle back and if the door is open uh and w the open direction is front then we want to warp the rotation degrees dot y to open angle front and if the open direction is back then we want to warp the rotation degrees dot y to the open angle back all right and i have two functions one called peak and one called open they need a variable passed in called dir and it's an integer and this will just be determined by what uh interaction is used so if in the peak function we say if the door state is equal to door states dot closed if it is then we want to peak the door and our open direction is equal to this dir variable and then we return this prevents the code after it from getting ran which causes the door to just not do anything if the door state is open then we want to set state to peak our open direction is equal to dir and then we return and if our door state is peaked then we want to close the door open direction is equal to dir and then we return and then for our open if the door state is closed we want to open the door open direction is equal to dir and then we return our if our door is peaked then we want to open the door set our open direction to dir and return and if our door state is open then we want to set the door state to close our open direction to dir and we return all right and then you need to hook up the signals from your interaction points into this door script i have peak door front uh open door front peak door rear and open door rear and then these call these peak functions and for the front it uses open directions dot front and for the open door front we just call the open function open directions dot front and then we essentially do the same for peak door rear and open door rear except instead of saying open directions dot front and uh open directions dot front we use open directions dot back instead so it will swing in the other direction from front all right and then to get these doors set up in your scene you need to drag your two doors into the scene first i have the door just the base door script it has rotation degrees to zero and then i have the mirrored version uh now this is by default rotated to zero as well this is really handy for us and then we want to determine how our door will open so let's say rotation degrees is negative 90 on that side um and this is just regular 90 so since these are inverse then we should set this to the open angle back instead of the open angle front because if it was set to the open angle front then it would swing like this instead and we don't want it to do that so that's just a little tip on how to set these things up properly if you found this video informative be sure to leave a like and subscribe it helps our channel helps get content like this recommend others that's all from me for now fun out